what has the last few hours been like for you once you found out? Well, uh, been, you know, a few uh, phone calls, uh, texts uh, ongoing. And um, it's been it's been really gratifying, particularly because the film was acknowledged. Uh, Cord Jefferson, our, uh, our our director and writer, was acknowledged as well for his screenplay. Sterling K. Brown, uh, Laura Carpman for her score. So, you know, we've got a lot to celebrate. We uh, we you know, like with all films, we did this film together. And uh, we loved what we did. Uh, we thought that we were making a film that might be pretty good. We had a sense while we were doing it that um, it was a story that was interesting, that was smart, that was timely, was entertaining. And, um, and it's really gratifying that the Academy and our colleagues uh, seem to agree with us. So uh, yeah, just a just a, a great morning for uh, for all of us, and and ideally, uh, this will uh, this will uh, shine uh, increased light on the film, so that audiences will come in and uh, and 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 share in this story and appreciate it the way we appreciate it. It's getting recognized on multiple parts, even with uh, Sterling's nomination. Have you guys spoke yet? Uh, I, I texted him and. Uh, looking at my text my phone is kind of buzzing over here so i <laughs> he, he may be among uh among that number um yeah but uh but again sterling's been doing this for a while he's been working you know hard for for years trying to hone his skills and tell stories that uh that uh were meaningful to him and ideally meaningful to audiences and you know there's a lot of momentum behind behind our work that brings us here. And also, again, a lot of people who have contributed um, not necessarily to this film, but to his work and my work over the years. Um, I, you know, I've had a lot of wonderful artists, directors who are also teachers who took an interest in me early on and 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 helped me hone my craft. And so yeah, I mean, I've been doing this for a while. Uh, on uh, on any given day, uh, I'm pretty good at it. And yeah, today is uh, is a day when when that's been acknowledged by my colleagues and by the academy. And and uh, yeah, it feels good. How did you find out this morning? Well, um, I was here at home in Brooklyn for a few days. We've been on the road for uh, quite a bit um, promoting the film. And uh, I was just uh, pacing around here, around the house. I didn't want to watch the television to avoid any sudden damage to the TV that might have <laughs> occurred. Uh, so uh, I just uh, watched the phone and it started to light up um, after the announcement. And uh, and that's how I, I knew. Yeah. Oh, who was the first? I mean, is who was the first person to text you? Because I'm sure it was coming in. But the one person that broke the news was your agent. Well, well uh, there were multiple people that kind of came and called uh, at the same time. My my publicist uh, was 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 on it. Uh, <laughs> you know, she was uh, the first to call me, um, which is fitting. Um, but the, yeah, they, it just flooded in from colleagues and people that I know in the industry and family and and everyone it's um it's it's everyone's yeah everyone's pretty proud uh i have to say and what i did do the first person Yeah, the first person that I acknowledged was my mom. There's a picture of her just there. So, uh, yeah, she and I had a moment. My son saw this film. My mom uh, passed a little over a year before I got the script for this. And uh, when he saw the film, 
he said, you know, I see a lot of myself in that character you play. But it's also a beautiful homage to grandma. And uh, and I said to him, yeah, you got it. So, uh, yeah, so she was the first that I uh, that I spoke with this morning. Yeah, it reminds me um, of what Coleman Domingo has said that, I mean, he's also nominated as well, but he always says that we're living out our mother's dreams, that these are the dreams and desires that our mother had for us. So it's it's so cool to see a full circle moment for you. And um, well, I'm not certain that this was my mother's dream for me. Mm -hmm. uh, my mom uh, had, uh, you know, plans of her own. Uh, I think she might have wanted me to go to law school. She was a lawyer. But when I became an actor, um, it was all because of her. It was all because of the nights in the theater as a child when she would take me to shows that came through DC. Uh, and, you know, I became an actor much later. And she gradually acknowledged that and ultimately became extremely proud of the work that I did and of me. So her dream for me was to be the best that I could be and to live, you know, a full life. And what she did was that she made all of that possible. Anything and everything that I do is a result of opportunities that my mother provided for me and the care that she showed uh, me during my upbringing. So I'm not here physically without her and I'm not here figuratively without her. It all, it all traces back to my mother. I have to ask, do you know who you would take to the Oscars? <laughs> I have some idea, yeah. Yeah, okay. So we're not gonna share that one just yet, just in not, case, change it up. <laughs> no, not just yet, yeah. Okay. Um, um, one of them just left the room though. <laughs> yeah. Okay, she's in the running, she's in the running. Um, I I also wanted to ask, you said you, you have projects coming up in the next year, so many other projects. I wanted to know if there's anything you could share with us that you're working on and is Batman 2 coming down the pipeline? Is that some of the projects that you're working on? Well, you know, that's the idea, um, but uh, I have not read uh, the script uh, for uh, the next Batman. I know Matt uh, has been working and uh, writing and and uh, I'm excited to read uh, what he's written, but um, so yes, that is clearly in the plans. Um, but the others I'm uh, very excited about as well. Uh, the ink uh, is not yet uh, on the on the agreements, uh, so I'm going to uh, uh, to hold my tongue uh, with those. But some pretty cool stuff uh, in the works.